Well, good day. Good hello. I was going to say good morning because it's morning at my home in Florida. <laughs> it may not be morning where you are, but uh, wherever you are, God bless you. Thank you so much for giving me access. Thank you so much for letting me come to you, find you wherever you are to uh, hopefully bless you, encourage you. You know, um, one of the, one of the great one of the great ministries, and, and and I think one of the most needed ministries is is simply the min the ministry of encouragement uh, to just encourage one another. You know, um, who 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 among us doesn't need to be encouraged once in a while? You know, well. I certainly do, and I and I know you do, and that really is the point and the purpose of these of these videos that we do. That's that's why we do it. We want to encourage you and to come to you, bless you, speak speak some word to you that will uh, lift you up, maybe give you hope, uh, hopefully help you, uh, and uh, and encourage you. I, I I'm an encourager. I, that's that's really what I want to be. You know, I'm not impressed with titles, or but I tell you, I just I just want to encourage you today. And and in, on my heart today is from from um, from the book of James, uh, one of the, the apostle James, uh, chapter five, and verse fifteen. He said, he asked this question. He said, "Is there any sick among you?" So I'm going to ask that question today. Um, are you are you well, or, or is there a sickness among you? Uh, you know as well as I do that that the, the kinds of sicknesses are innumerable. They're, you know, they're, you can't describe all the ways that people can be sick. They can be sick mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. Financially, there's just so so many ways to be sick or diseased or infirmed. So so James just asked a kind of a, a broad question. He said, "Is there any sick among you?" Okay, but then he said, "Look, if there's any sick among you, do something. Just just take some action." And and the action that that James uh, suggested he said look call call somebody call 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 the elders the elders of the church okay well i understand that some of you are not in church some some of you are in church that doesn't don't have elders i mean that friends things can get a little complicated but james is just saying look if you're sick Call somebody. Ask them to come and pray with you. Pray for you. Laying their hands upon you. Putting their hands upon you. Everybody there here with me today, everybody watching, you know somebody that loves you. You know somebody that cares for you. You can find someone. So James is giving a, a practical a practical application, and he said, look, get some help, reach out to somebody, ask somebody to encourage you, ask somebody to put their hands upon you, pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus, and then this is what he said, and the prayer of faith will save the sick. Wow, that's so powerful to me. You know, in, in, as you know, I've studied and read my Bible and believed in my Bible for decades, uh, 50, over 50 years. And to me, every word of the Scripture is inspired by God. Why, why am I saying this? Because of what, what James said. He said, look, if you're sick, if you're infirmed, if you're weakened, if you're discouraged in some way, there's help for you. Reach out to someone. Someone, reach out. If you, if, you, if you go to your church, if you don't have a church, I'm, I'm telling you, friend, you, you can figure this out. 
you can figure this out. What, what James is communicating is that there's help for you and that help can come to you through someone, okay? We don't have to be so formal with it. That it's, it the, the, the truth is broader than that. Somebody cares for your life. Somebody cares for your life. And that person who cares for your life has authority in your life. You, you can pray for your loved ones. You can pray for your children. You can pray for those you know. Because it's the prayer of, of, the prayer of faith. And you can have faith for those you love. You can have faith for those you care for. You can want good things for those who are suffering. And there's power in that. And James said, call someone, call a leader, call someone that's experienced in the things of God, ask them to lay their hands on you and ask them to pray for you. And James, the apostle James said, and the prayer of faith will deliver you. The prayer of faith will save you. See, we, we come, we, we narrow things down to specifically what Jesus said or what the apostles said. There's power in those words. And the power in those words is to release faith, substance of faith. Faith is substance. Faith is real. Faith produces. Faith works. Faith can be released. Faith can be imparted. See, If you just simply do as the scripture says to do, call somebody, ask somebody to help you and receive their help and Jesus said, the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise them up. And then listen to this. He said, and if they have committed sins, the sins will be forgiven. Why, why is that important? Because some people believe, and it's probably right, that some of the sicknesses and some of the diseases and some of the problems are occur, occur because, because of sin, because of of sinful acts and things. So, but even so, he, James got the solution there. He said, look, uh, uh, the prayer of faith will, it shall absolutely work in your life. And my friend, I absolutely believe that. So I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a step in your direction right now because I believe that there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. There's no time limitations in the realm of the spirit. Faith is eternal. Uh, the scriptures are eternal. So I can reach right into where you are with my faith in Jesus name. I know that. I want you to know that. I want you to believe that, that I can use just the next minute or so to come right where you are in by, by the spirit of God, by the Holy Spirit, to pray for you in Jesus' name. Receive this prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, every person that's hearing my words and hearing my prayer right now, I'm reaching out to them by faith in the Word of God. And by faith, I'm stretching forth my hand of faith to touch them by the Spirit of God, to say to them, your infirmity shall be healed. Your weakness shall be healed. Your, your difficulty, your sickness uh, shall be healed. And I ask the Lord's grace and forgiveness if you've created a problem by your own sinfulness and by your own mistakes. The Bible even says those will be forgiven. And my friend, I believe that today in Jesus' name. I believe there's power. I know there's power in prayer. I know there's power in faith. And we believe the scriptures. So now you have the promise. You have the word. You have the prayer. So you rise up right now and you believe. You receive and accept your healing, your deliverance, your freedom in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. I don't know how you might be able to reply to this, but... You, uh, you, I'm on Instagram and uh, you send me your testimony. Tell me that what happened as a result of this prayer. That will encourage me. I love you so much. Thank you once again for allowing me into, into your space. You're very, very precious. God bless you.